Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Tammy Hendricks. I'm a pediatrician. I'm also a medical educator, which means I get to teach people how to be doctors. And most importantly, I'm a mother. I am joined today by my two children, and we are gonna try to answer some of the questions that we've received from other kids about COVID-19. Do you wanna introduce yourself? I'm Haley. I'm in second grade and I'm seven years old. Perfect. I'm Zoe. I'm in fourth grade and I am nine years old. I am so happy that both Zoe and Bailey are here with me to help. Zoe, do you want to ask the first question? <laughs> so how do you get it? So how do you get COVID-19? COVID-19 is caused by a virus. A virus is a teeny, teeny, tiny little particle that we can't just see with our regular eyes. We can't even see it with a regular microscope. We need a super powerful microscope to be able to get it. Have you guys ever coughed or sneezed and had stuff come out of your mouth and your nose? Yeah. Yeah? yeah? Well, oftentimes when we're coughing and sneezing, if it's because of a virus, like coronavirus, which is causing COVID-19, in all of that stuff that comes out of our mouth and nose comes some of the virus. So when we cough and we sneeze and other people touch where we've coughed and we've sneezed and then they touch their mouth or they touch their eyes, that virus can get introduced into them and that's how they can get sick. This is why we want to try to stay far apart from people. So if they cough or they sneeze, those little particles can't get close to us. And it's why we want to try to keep our hands really clean and try not to touch our faces at all. Bailey, did you have another question? Mm -hmm. How does washing your hands help, help you not get it? That's a great question. So like I said, this virus is teeny, teeny, tiny, so we can't see it. Somebody may cough or sneeze onto some playground equipment. That may happen hours before we even get to the park and get to that playground equipment. We may touch it and without even realizing it, we have now some of that virus onto our hands. If we were to touch our mouth or touch our eyes, suddenly we could get the virus too. So washing our hands helps us to make sure that we get rid of all of the virus. So it helps us to make sure that we're staying really healthy. What are some of the best ways to wash our hands? Zoe? Um, so, um, rinse your hands with soap, uh -huh. I mean, with water, uh -huh. and then scrub soap on for about a minute, uh -huh. and then rinse it off. I love it. So yes, soap and water is one of the best things that we could do. 20 seconds is what we recommend, but if you can do it for a minute, that's even better. Making sure we're getting between our hands, making sure we're getting the backs of our hands, the fronts of our hands, all the way down to our wrists. If we don't have soap and water, what else could we use? We could use hand sanitizer. That's right. <laughs> Excellent job. Zoe, do you have another question? Um, how? Oh, go no, ahead, Bailey. Wait, sorry, Bailey wants to say something. Um, no, it's Bailey. A fast, a faster way, and more fun is to sing the ABCs twice to get rid of it. That's right. So while you're washing your hands, you can sing the ABC song twice in a row, and that should hopefully make sure that you're washing your hands for at least 20 seconds. Bailey, do you want to do the next question? I think that's the next question. Oh. How dangerous can it be? This is a really good question. We are taking some really serious measures, right? Our schools are closed. You guys are doing homeschooling right now. We're staying away from friends. We are doing our social distancing. So it must be pretty serious. This virus for most people probably won't be that big a deal. They'll get symptoms that kind of feel like a cough and a cold, but for other people, they could get really, really, really sick, need to be hospitalized. So for that reason, it is pretty dangerous, and we would just want to try to limit the spread to as many people as we can. Yeah. Exactly. Bailey just whispered to me over 65, and that's right. The people who we're most worried about are some older individuals, people who are older than the age of 65 years, or people who have other illnesses. But anybody can get sick from this virus, so it's really important that we all take it very seriously. Kids don't get it as much as adults, though. That's right, kids don't get it as much as adults, although there have been some kids who have gotten pretty sick from it. Luckily, there are people like me, doctors, nurses, respiratory technicians, all the people in the hospital that are there to help us when we get sick. Um, when will it go away? 
when will it go away? That's the question everybody wants to well, know, about right? About when will it go Yeah. Away. When can we return back to our normal lives? When can we go back to school? Um, we don't know yet because we don't know how well we're doing right now to help decrease the spread of this virus. The estimates are anywhere from maybe about three weeks, maybe about eight weeks, maybe about 12 weeks. And we don't really know. We just have to take it day by day and see how good we are at decreasing the number of people who are getting it. When can people go to the park again? When can you go to the park again? You can actually go to the park right now. We go to the park every day. Um, basically. Going to, basically, going to the park is absolutely fine. What you wanna make sure you're doing is staying away from other people. So going to the park, playing soccer, running on the grass, those are all great things to do. And We've been playing kickball a lot as a family. Um, so those are really great. If you do want to play on playground equipment, like I said, sometimes the virus can be on the playground equipment and we don't know it. So make sure while afterwards, you're playing on it, you wash your hands. That's right. Afterwards, mm -hmm. you wash your hands, bring your hand sanitizer, bring your Clorox wipes. Just try to be as clean and as safe as you can possibly be. Um, I love riding my bike and someone asked, when can I ride a bike with my friends? Yeah, actually bike riding is one of the best things you can do with your friends. You can stay separate from them, right? At least six feet. So you're separated, you're not touching. Uh, hopefully you're not at all riding bikes with somebody who is coughing and sneezing, nobody who's sick. Um, but riding bikes with friends is a great thing to do. It's really important for all of us to make sure we're getting outside, to make sure we're moving our bodies, getting good exercise, make sure we're eating lots of fresh fruits and vegetables so we're staying as healthy as we can. Yes. Did you have another question? No, you're just touching me? I love it. Did you have another question? No. Nope. That's it? All right. Well, thank you so much. Uh, we hope you enjoyed this. What do you girls say? Thank, thank you, you for watching. watching. <laughs> If you have any more questions, please feel free to comment down below in the video or send us an email. We'll be happy to answer your questions. Thank you.